Hello, in this video we are going to discuss the lead code problem number 6 to 8, maximum product of 3 numbers. In this problem, they will give you an array, right? They will give you an array like this, uh, 2, 5, then what, uh, 2, 5, uh, 3, 1, 4, like this. They will give you an array you need to return the maximum product right maximum product maximum product of three numbers when will you get the maximum product of three numbers uh, in a series of number you will get uh, uh, by uh, multiplying the largest three numbers right the maximum three numbers you multiply you will get the maximum product uh, for example, uh, first you need to sort this uh, array, right? If you sort this array, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? If you sort the logic, this array has in uh, unsorted order. You just sort the array like this. When will you get the maximum product? Maximum product, when will you get? Multiplying the last uh, largest three numbers, right? So, you can easily multiply. If you multiply the first three numbers, 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 3, 6. It is not maximum, right? When you multiply the last three elements, you will get the maximum product. 3 into 4, 12. 12 into 5, 60. 60 is the maximum product. So, you need to what you need to multiply the last three elements when after sorting after sorting it is an increasing array right after sorted in ascending order you will get the this order or the ordered array so if you multiply the last three elements you will get the maximum product but in some cases right but in some cases they will give you the array like minus 7 minus 6 then 1 7 2 like this right if you sort this array uh, you will get uh, how, how, how will you get the array if you go for sort minus 7 minus 6 then what 1 2 7 already you write the logic of multiplying the last three elements after sorting if you multiply this uh, you will uh, did not get the maximum product right yeah, there is minus 7 and minus 6 if there are two elements uh, having minus symbol minus 7 minus 6 if you multiply this 2 into 7 just 14 but if you multiply minus 7 into minus 6, uh, 6 you will get positive 42 right so you cannot beat the last uh, three digits if two negative higher value two negative higher value if you have you cannot go with that so what is the logic you need to sort the array, right? You need to sort the and then check the last three elements, okay? You will get one product. At the same time, you need to check the minimum two and the maximum one because minus and minus will get positive. For example, in this case, 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 7, 14 you will get 14 right at the same time 7 into 6 42 42 into 7 how much it will 42 into 7 yeah something big like x right 42 into 7 4 4 7 7 4 24 yeah 250 plus right you will get 250 plus number then compare these two 
what will the highest 250 so just to return 250 the idea is this right let us move to the coding part first just to take the what nums length right arrays length as an integer format then simply sort the array arrays dot sort what is the array's name nums now the array is sorted you just return what math dot max math dot max is the java function which return which compare two values and return the maximum value right for that purpose max dot max is used you need to compare two things what if the now the array is now the array is sorted right now the array is already sorted uh, you need to take these three elements right first uh, how to get that nums the last element n minus one element into multiply nums n minus 2 multiply nums n minus 3 right this is this will give you one value right at the same time you need to compare the another value how can you compare nums of the minimum value first minimum value then nums of 1 the second least element then the maximum element nums n minus 1 that's it if you run this code sorry my internet connection is poor it is accepted yeah it is success right but it takes 20 milliseconds right it is running o n log n because arrays dot sort method using o n log n if you if you want this answer just leave it but you can do it the same operation uh, with some if else statement you can easily solve with o of n because of n but that is bit complex uh, not complex but it is it is yeah it's just uh, it is just complex but i do it if you want you can follow that approach is same but we don't use anums uh, right first i take variable max 1 we need five values right maximum one maximum two maximum three minimum one minimum two right for the maximum one i just assign integer dot max value sorry max value which is simply used to, to sorry minimum value the lowest integer value it will automatically take lowest integer value the same way I choose uh, I max 2 then max 3 this is for comparing every element we are not sorting we just comparing and swapping uh, integer that we need minimum value of uh, two minimum values the least one and the second least right integer dot max max value is used to assign the highest integer value int min 2 sorry int min 2 integer dot max value this is for comparison purpose at the initial stage we need to compare with something right so this is then i take a loop uh, for each loop int n n is for what uh, yeah current element i check if n is greater than the max one 
what will we do we just swapping everything right you know that i just swap sorry max 2 is equal to max sorry max 3 is equal to max 2 max 2 is equal to max 1 sorry max 1 max 1 is equal to what n right the same way check for the n greater than max 2 it is not complex but it is it is like uh, difficult it is clumsy how can i say complicated one so i just leave this method but i will just try to solve max 2 sorry max 3 is equal to max 2 right i simply swap max 2 is equal to n n the same way else if we go for n max 3 max 3 is equal to we directly assign n right the same way we need to check for minimum if max sorry n less than max 1 right sorry min 1 min 1 we just min 2 equal to min 1 yeah i just try to solve if it is solve it's fine yeah swap it done then we need to swap for another thing else if n min 2 we directly assign min 2 with the n right yeah if now we swapped everything we get max 1 max 2 max 3 min 1 min 2 value we just try to return return what math dot yeah same function right math dot maximum of what max max 1 into max 2 into max 3 right one value at the same time we need to uh, the least one minimum one minimum two what maximum one right let's run the code yeah it's accepted but you previous solution run in 20 millisecond but this solution because we just uh, running a loop uh, this is big o of n right we trade uh, the loop from first element to last element so uh, the time uh, time complexity is simply big o of n so this solution will be very uh, very much uh, it is not time taken right sorry for my poor english but yeah it is 12 seconds right already we run with this solution it is 20 seconds but it is 12 milliseconds so you can use any method but some interview interviewers don't want to use array start sort method so if you use if you do, uh, if you are not allowed you just go for what swapping method it is traditional you all know so just to swap every variable and allocate finally you will you will get all the values right just to proceed the approach is same uh, we are just uh, multiplying the last three elements or uh, and uh, the first uh, two elements uh, that is least element least two and the maximum one if some negative elements are present so we need to consider the minimum elements also yeah that's it thank you